What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB. That's right You see Matt from mr. Make it happen. Listen, I'm out here I'm on the East Coast out here in Virginia, you know out here get ready to show you guys what you guys already read I'm gonna show you and take the mystery out of just making this, you know just Super easy and over the top with the taste, you know, it's just a peach cobbler. Matt go ahead and do your thing Yeah, man, I had to bring my uncle out here to the East Coast brought him to Virginia so I can get this peach cobbler recipe just before Thanksgiving Got to have it on my Thanksgiving table this year, so I'm ex I'm excited to see the recipe. Hey, the thing is about this uh, peach cobbler, listen, I done met a bunch of people, a lot of people do all kind of stuff, they put a lot of ingredients. Listen, don't forget the ingredient list will be down in the description box below. And with that being said, listen, there's a reason why I'm out here on the East Coast. Hey, listen, he and I, we got a major announcement, which we'll announce sometime throughout this video. So stay hey, tuned. That's right, let's get it. First thing we're gonna do is look, go ahead and open those up. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this 13 by nine, right? Pre-made pie crust, huh? Hey, only way to go, you ask me, listen, there's nothing wrong with the product. I mean, the uh, the taste. Listen, I know some people gonna hit us up. I know you like to make, you know, a lot of your stuff from scratch, but being Thanksgiving, when you cooking five, six, seven things at one time. Gotta save some time. Gotta save some time. Can't make everything from scratch. Now, meanwhile, while he's doing that, listen, we didn't already brought our oven up to 350 degrees. What we're gonna do is stick this inside, and when we put it inside, we're just gonna put it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. We're not really trying to brown it, otherwise we put a, you know, like we could have brushed it with some butter or something like that, but right. why brown it down here when we're getting ready to put filling on the top, right? When you buy these pie crusts, it come two in the box, right? Right. The reason we use two is because you're not gonna get full coverage. They love the crust, bro. That's extra, what- Extra crust. Extra crust, right. I like that. So look, go ahead and take this one okay. and do the same thing and just put Another it on that side. side. Right, right, right. Got you. We got it like that. And again, I don't brown or nothing like that because we're going to put the filling on the just top. Just pre-cook right? it a little bit. So there you go. Up. So we would just want to cook it, make it nice and flaky. Oven's at 350. Sir, so 350. How long is it going in the oven? 20, let's, I'm going to say 22 minutes. Uh, just 22 minutes is fine. The bottom crust, we got that in the oven, right? Right. Super simple. Let's start heating up the pan. Let's make the filling. We're going with the butter. Yeah, go with the butter. Got some Kerrygold Irish butter. That's, hey, that right there, that's the Grass one. fed. Ha <laughs> ha. You know I'm 52% Irish. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I take my peaches. Here's a question that everybody's gonna ask. Hey, do I strain them? No, I do not. You know what I mean? So we just pour these in here like that. Four cans in total. Four cans total. Now look, there's really no order or nothing like that, man. You know, all we don't wanna put some heat in there, cause look, we wanna make sure that this incorporates inside of there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna, let me just pour this get out of your way. So we got one cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar. Bingo. All right, so brown sugar going in. Sugar. Any reason you gave me the brown sugar to pour in there? <laughs> Nephew. <laughs> hey, so so check it out. Look, nutmeg, cinnamon, real simple, right? So we'll add some of this. And then all we're gonna do is let the fire do the rest. Start cooking it all down. I like the taste of vanilla extract, right? Okay. I'm gonna put a couple, that's a lot right there. Like two teaspoons roughly? Yeah, probably. about. Actually, I put two tablespoons in mine. Oh man! Hey, but that must be the that must be the secret. That might be. This is what I'm talking about, nephew. When I see that right there, that tells me we hot, right? So look, then I just go ahead and reduce it down a little bit, just a little bit. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it to like overboil my peaches, right? Right. And now we come to the cornstarch. This right here is the secret, man. This is what everybody want to know. How do we get it thick? It's a nice and thick. I'm gonna tell you the real truth. You make it like this without that, it's gonna thicken up anyway. People just see it with their brain and they say, oh, the bottom part's gonna be soggy and all this whole kind of stuff. It's not thick enough for me. But I promise you, after you put this in the refrigerator and you bring it out, it's a little thick, right? But for those who wanna have that thick, if you make it too thick, now we making peach pie. Right. You know what I mean? So look, five tablespoons cornstarch, then we gonna equal that with cold water, then we gonna go with that. All right. That right there is perfect, right? So look, I'm just turning it off because we know it's hot enough. Now, just go ahead and add that as I stir this back and forth. And this right here, you can just pour it in there. Just dump it. We just want to make sure we get this incorporated in all of it. And this is going to thicken it up. And this is going to thicken it up. The more cornstarch you put in here in cold water, the thicker it gets. But be careful. We don't want to make... Now, you showing out now. I see you. Hey, nephew, I see you. Yes, sir. Let's see what we're working with. That's good. Hey, I would pick this up and drop it. I'm, I'm gonna we gotta eat that. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta eat that. that. 
Okay, so look, that took all of about, I'll say, what, about 12 minutes or whatever? So look, we went in the oven to brown the bottom crust, right? So we put it in, what, 22 minutes? Then you take away 12, so we should have about 10, 9, or whatever it take, you know, left after, you know, prepping this right here. So we got the filling done. Hey, with that being said, look, we talked about an announcement, right? This is the part that put the big grin on my face, because listen, nephew and I, we co-authored the cookbook. Check this out, folks. You guys have been asking. I read them on his channel and his comments, and I get them all the time, and I get them in my email. People want to know, do we have something other than an ebook? So here it is, folks. I've been talking about it for a couple of years, so we co-authored this, the best of both worlds. It's crazy seeing this in my hand after all of it. We, it took a, like eight, nine months for us oh, to man. put this together, almost a year. So. Hey, so look, all the time you saw us going live, me being on the East Coast, which I'm in Virginia right now, right? Or him being out there, you know, on the West Coast. You know what, this was all, This was, we was kind of like trying to keep it a secret, but right. you know what I mean? But cats out of the bag yeah, now. Cats out the bag now. We got over 90 recipes for you guys. The pre-order link is in the description box and it's in the pinned comment. Make sure you get yours ASAP while they last. Hey, It'll while they last. It'll be shipped in uh, December, so you have it for the holiday season. Get yourself a copy, get your friends and family a copy for the holidays. Hey, it makes a great gift though. Hey, you over know what? Over 90 recipes. That right there is, uh, hey, I just want to touch on that. Look, it does make a great gift. So, hey, and with that being said, let's get back to the peach cobbler. Like, <laughs> that's right. Okay, so look, it's out. This is nice, baked, crispy. Oh yeah, that's, that, hey, that's perfect. I'll take this and I'll just bring it over the top and now we'll just pour our filling in. That looks good, nice and thick. Nice and thick. For package number two, or box number two of the uh, crust, right? So look, we already, uh, roll this out look take this and what we're gonna do is just stretch it along right because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make it pretty since it's Thanksgiving you know what I mean or it could be for Christmas now the reason I'm talking like this because look I don't want to overcomplicate and I just want to keep it super simple we just make some lines like how you see he's making his like super thin this is the way my grandmama made hers now that you got them out like this right so I'll just take one of these like this and for me I just lay it like this Right? Mm hmm. You just leave it like that. Like that? There you go. I like that. I just take this, lay this right here on top like that. Fill in the gaps. Just fill in the gaps. Gotcha. Right. Now, man, you can do it any kind of way you want to do it. I lay these on top. Super easy, huh? Take a look at that right there. Now that you get everything uh, cleaned up, and then over the edge, since I'm going to say this, since you left so much over there, it was like that. I just took it off. You know why? Because I don't want to put it back in the oven for another hour. Right. I don't know how dark it gets. So we just cut that off, lay this over the top. You see how they look? This is the way it's going to come out. Now, what we did was just melt some butter. It's up to you guys. You guys can use butter. That's like the, the old thing, huh? Everybody say, which is better, the brown uh, butter or, or eggs. Egg. Right. I like the color that we get from the butter. And it tastes butter. Bingo. And it's, hey, it's it looks better to Every, me. Everything gotta have a stick of butter. This gives you a different, the different brown though. Right. You know what I mean? The egg will give you a little bit of a darker brown. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a print pinch of this sugar right here on the top. I'm gonna take this cinnamon and I just sprinkle a little bit over the top. And that's going in the oven for how long? One hour. Three fifty. All right, let's get it. Check it out. Look, my nephew, he rolled out the red carpet, right? Look at this, uh, man, I just like to call it that skillet mac and cheese right there. That's what that is. Hey, that's right. And then look, now you guys can see this. Uh, oh, you know what? I gotta pay homage to this right here. Look at these right here, folks. Tell me what you think. This right here, when I say he rolled out the red carpet, hey, he pulled out everything that I like. And then we gonna cap it off with this. We had some fried chicken, but somebody ate all of it. I don't know <laughs> Cooled enough. Look, I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm finna dig in. Me too. Let's go. I like an end piece. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Have a little bit drips in the mac and cheese, I won't be mad at that either. No, you can't be. Oh, man. Look at that. That's that crust, baby. Look, you like that thickness? Love it. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, nephew, hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. You broke out the mint. You know, I never fooled with mint as a garnish. But that right there, hey, listen. Color. Hey, I always put something down when it's real, man. Hashtag, hashtag inspired, bro. That did it. Mm. 
Oh my God. Hey, so for me, man, hey. I don't try to reinvent the wheel. Why should you? Mm. That's impressive. That's got to be on the Thanksgiving dinner table right there. Oh, for sure. A little ice cream, deep fried turkey on the next episode. And all of these recipes can be found in the cookbook Plug. that you and I are releasing tomorrow, tomorrow. on Friday. Make sure you guys pre-order it. It's over 90 recipes. AB and I worked on this for almost a year. Very excited to release it. And uh, we thank you guys for your support in advance. For, for the first thousand copies, we're gonna do free shipping. So, yeah, that, uh, you know, as soon as the link drops, go ahead and place your order. First thousand copies, shipping's on us. We'll do some uh, tour dates to do some signed copies as well. And again, we just appreciate you guys' support. Uh, long time coming, it's the collab you guys never knew you needed, but it's here. Man, I love that, bro. Hey, that's what's up. I'm gonna go back to this. <laughs> Let me wipe my mouth, man, and uh, wrap this up. What you think, nephew? That's one of the best peach cobbles I've ever had. Hey, simple works, bro. Hey. Simple is best sometimes. Sometimes you try to overdo it. Sometimes we over talk it. Hey, you know I like to grab a rag or something, hold it out like that. I like that too, and just <laughs> drop it. Hey, so with that being said, look, let me just take this time to say, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, right? Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm gonna go eat this. That's what's up, man. <laughs> we out.